back to poor boy's little homestead today you're looking at my rabbit tractor I built this rabbit tractor and I fooled around and deleted my film before I got it downloaded so we're gonna start at this point and I'll show y'all a little bit about it how I built it how it works but what I want to do this is a rabbit tractor that I can use when I'm raising meat rabbits. Move them around on fresh grass every day, you can just move it a little bit. But I also want this to where I can put it on a stand and use it as a cage. So today, I'm gonna be building the stand for it and I'm gonna be building that out of a, pipes off of a frame of an old trampoline. rabbit tractor is 36 inches wide, 8 foot long. Also, today I'm going to install my feeder and a little watering system. So let me show you a little bit about my rabbit tractor I built, how I designed it, how it works. The lid on this rabbit tractor opens all the way. And I got a stick. You can use to prop it open while you in there fooling with your rabbits. Or feeding your rabbits. Checking your rabbits. This here is just a nesting box I built. I'm going to move it over out of the way. It opens all the way up and it makes it convenient just to reach in there and be able to do things. The wheels I put on it, I just took the pipe, about 14 inches long, drilled a hole, put a bolt back here through the bottom frame of the rabbit cage, put a welded the bolt to that piece of pipe. 5 8 bolt and two of these 10 inch utility cart tires from Harbor Freight. Then I welded this little handle on here as a lever chamber handle. So when you get ready to move your rabbit tractor, all you do is push down on this loop and push it, and it's got a catch bolt here that holds it up. Just that simple. Let it down, that way they can eat your grass tomorrow when you get ready to move it, next day. Works just like that on both sides of the tractor. Put that a little better close up. You can see where I put the pump back here through the frame. The pipe, where the 5 8 inch bolt on it. That's the size of the diameter of the hole for these little 10 inch tires. And I got a bolt that the lever hangs under, put through the frame. Then on the end of the rabbit cage, I enclosed it for weather protection. The way when they're sitting out in the weather, they can go through that little hole get on the inside in here and I'm going to install my feeder on this back wall or either on this front wall and my watering system I'm going to use the water nipples and I have them up here in the front we'll get to that later the most economical way to build this was to, would have been if you got a whole sheet of this three foot wide tin would have been to build it like 30 inches wide then you could have just laid your tin long ways. But I had scrap tin, so I went on and built mine 36 inches wide, and then I had them few pieces of that tin there that I could cut and leave my little overhang on 
on each side. It's built out of treated material. Put the wires on the inside so the rabbits can't eat on your treated material. But what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take this old legs off the old trampoline. Another piece of pipe there, I think that's off the top of a cyclone fence railing. And I'm gonna build a frame to set this on to where when I wanna use it as a cage, that it can be a couple foot off the ground. That way you can keep the rabbit poop scooped out from under it and stuff when you're not using it for a rabbit tractor. Now on the front, guys, I just put a rope handle. Rode a hole through my frame for the rabbit cage. Run the rope through it. Put a piece of rubber hose on it so the rope don't cut into your hand. You can just pick up on it. Y'all seen how easy it is to move. Beginning of the video, I was walking up here from about 200 yards away. Instead of leaving this out on the ground, I just throw it over in there like that when you close the lid. That way you won't mess up and run over with the lime or something laying out on the ground. But now I'm finna get started on building my frame. First I might get my measurements, cut my pipe. Get my little welder out, weld my frame together. And after I get it all welded together, just set the rabbit cage up on it. So just stay with me. guys I got this frame built I take my grinder and dress it up a little bit make it wells look a little better I ain't no professional welder by no means but I'm gonna see if I can get that cage set up on it because I think I'm gonna need to put some kind of little lip on each end on both sides so the cage can't slide off of it so it sit down sit down on top of my frame in, into them little catch pins so i'm gonna see if i can get it up on top of here all right guys i got it set up on there now i'm gonna weld these flat bars that way when the cage sits on top of my frame it can't slide either way and slide off or slide out of position so next up, I'm gonna weld these on here. And then we'll get this moved out there to where I want it and we'll install the feeder.
Okay guys, I completed our building our frame for this to sit on. Now I have a rabbit tractor. Or I can have it sitting on my frame and I got a rabbit cage. Now I built this 18 inches off the ground. That way I can scoop the poop out from under it. But yet it's low enough that I can open the lid and I can reach and do anything I want and still touch the bottom. This rabbit tractor slash cage was built out of scrap materials that other people were throwing away or just wanted hauled off. Like I said earlier, the frame was built out of an old trampoline frame. The wood was scrapped. The only thing I've purchased in this rabbit cage is the wire I bought and the two wheels. Everything else is just scrap that I've picked up or already had on hand. So up next, I'm gonna be installing two feeders. These are five inch feeders, so I'm gonna put two of them in there. Already had these. So normally they're made to go through your wire and have on the outside. But since I'm gonna be using this for a rabbit tractor and moving around, I'm gonna install these on the inside. I'm gonna put them on a board and mount them in the inside so as the rabbit's little, that may, they may need to be lowered down low and then the rabbits get bigger, I can raise them up. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. All right, so let me show y'all what I got in my mind here. I'm going to take these two feeders, and I'm going to have them mounted on the inside, side by side. Yeah, but I'm going to have them on a board that I can fasten on there so the rabbits can't knock them off since the whole thing's on the inside. But I'm going to have them on a board that I can easily, when the rabbits are small, I can have them low. As the rabbits get bigger, I can raise them up. Because sometimes your rabbits uh, like to scratch all your feed out if you leave them too low. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. installed y'all can see I made some hangers that's plumbers plumbers tape for hanging stuff I screwed it on back of this board and bent them as in the hooks that way all I gotta do is pick this up and hook it on the next line of wire there or lower it I can raise them and lower them whatever size my rabbits are so next guys so next, guys, we finna move this rabbit cage slash tractor out to my gardening site where my chicken pen and my other rabbit cage is and get it set up, and then we'll work on the watering system. All right, now we got it out here. Set up where I want it. Under the shade tree, so they'll be in a good shade in the summer. There was my buck and two does. They live right there. I'm supposed to be getting my, I'm getting American blues. I'm supposed to get them March, about March the 1st. I'll bring them home. It's gonna be a little while before they get old enough to start to breed. My intention is to raise some meat rabbits. So next, we've been to hook up a little watering system. In this cage, completed running to that one. I had started it and never completed it. I got a little upset with myself when I discovered I, uh, I lost my video that I'd done built these two 
rabbit cages and hutches and tractors. Then I lost my video and that day I got aggravated and just quit. But I need to finish getting my watering system hooked up and then I can go back over this one and show y'all a little bit about it and how I built it. Okay guys, now we're going to complete the watering system that I had started the other day. Then I messed up and fooled around and deleted my video. But what I have started here, I got a five gallon bucket. And I got a hook screwed in the tree that the bucket hangs on. And I might change this out to something like a 10 gallon or 12 gallon later on. But for right now, you can just fill your bucket up. And this hose right here, as you fill your bucket up, it's going to show you your water line. And as your water, as rabbits drink the water down, your line is going to be, and then you can just watch it while I had to take the top off the bucket to see how much water is in there. But I got it going. In this cage here. Got my line running down. This cage here is getting split into three cages. I'm going to have my buck rabbit and my two does for breeders. So I got a water nipple going to each cage. These little water nipples, why they made with that little hook and that spring, you just clip them on one side of your wire and you stretch that spring and hook it on a, another eye on your wire. And it keeps them, keeps them fastened in there. So I got this side done. Got my new feeders installed in it. I built this hutch from all new material, except for the tin. So now I'm gonna install these little nipples over here on my rabbit tractor slash cage I got here. But I think what I'm gonna do, I ain't gonna put them in the front. I think I'm gonna put them right back there on the back. And I believe I'm going to put three of them because I breed both rabbits at one time. I might have 10 or 12 rabbits in here at one time. So I'm going to put three. So guys, that's what I'm going to be working on next. See, I completed hooking the water up. I run three nipples here to the rabbit tractor cage. Comes off this one five gallon bucket. And then the five gallon bucket, I also feed this cage. Just got one water nipple in each cage. Like I said earlier, this is where my buck and two does would be. But I'd built this cage, like I was saying earlier, a few days back. And then I fooled around and accidentally deleted my video footage of building it. And I built it. You ready? Rabbit hutches right there. I just took some of them mineral tubs, split them in half, and put a back in them. And put the back in this side over here. That'll wait a rabbit to have somewhere to get out of weather. When it, when I breed them, then I take them out and put their nesting box in there when it gets that time. I put this little overhang over the back. That way water wouldn't, when it rains, wouldn't fall down on these, even though they got lids on them. 
want water to get into my rabbit food. The watering system here. This hose right here. As you build a bucket up with water, the water is going to come up to the height that the bucket gets for to come out that hose. As the rabbits drink water, that water line will go back down. That way you know how much water is in that bucket without having to pull the top off. There's the rabbit tractor and the new stand we just built today. All looks pretty good. I want to take this moment to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helps someone out there. Maybe give you some ideas. Give you some idea how you want to build your tractor or your rabbit cages, watering system, feeding system. And if you're watching this and you know anyone else that's raising rabbits or about to start raising rabbits, please share this video with them. Thank you and God bless. Have a great day.